Sacred Geography The Bailey Hill, High Bradfield, South Yorkshire in the UK The Bailey Hill in High Bradfield is situated next to St Nicholas's Church and accessed via the churchyard. Buried amongst trees, it is barely visible and few know it is there. Furthermore, it is not marked on any of the better maps depicting historic sites. It remains in history books as a ruined early 12th century Norman Mutton Bailey Castle, like many in the UK and abroad. It is in a lovely setting high up on the hill with bowl-shaped crags behind. The river flows below and it rests amid much ancient and natural woods and woodland. The Norman Invasions When the Normans invaded the UK in 1066, no church existed at this site. The present imposing church was built around the late 1400s using stone already there. We can get no idea of what this church originally looked like because the interior of the church was destroyed by the Puritans during the English Civil War in the 1600s, when statues, wall paintings and stained glass were destroyed. But they did leave a very ancient cross, still to be found in the church, seemingly depicting the cardinal directions and a yoke-shaped boss at the centre of the egg-shaped top part. Where the Normans built castles, they tended to build them on top of existing ready-made mounds. A mound at Skipsea in Yorkshire, for example, was once thought to have been built about 1066, but cores taken from the 42-foot high hill have revealed it is 2,500 years old. It is thus one of the largest Iron Age monuments to be found in Europe. Archaeologists believe the Norman conquerors simply built on top of it. Thus the stone from the Norman castle at High Bradfield may well have been used to build the church, whilst the hill upon which it once stood may have been as old as that at Skipsea. The Ancestors The mound which we now call the Bailey Hill is at first sight unconnected to all the really important sacred sites in this area. Hope Valley and Carl Wark near Castleton and Arbelow near Breakwell. As the crow flies, however, it is well under 10 miles to both Carl Wark and the Hope Valley megasites. Ancient man built sacred structures that mirrored the constellations and planets in the sky. As above, so below, and hills and mounds symbolically represented the gods in the sky, stars. We should thus expect that the mound or hill in High Bradfield was probably part of a constellation which was also mapped onto the earth. And indeed, look at a map of the really ancient sacred structures in the area and we can see there is a stone circle to the north near Uton Valley. The remains of another structure near West Nab, shown green on the map. And the apron full of stones near Bar Dyke and the Canyard Hills. There is every reason therefore to suspect this group was representing a constellation. Furthermore, a very old path called Duke's Road links this constellation to those near the Hope Valley. If we now look at the shape of the Bailey Hill, first as a plan and then an aerial photo, it is exactly the same as that of the cup and ring marks used as signposts for them. So it is no Bailey Hill. This is a site of considerable archaeological importance, taken with the rest of the constellation of which it was a part and its overall location. The standard cosmic egg structure. If we now home in on the mound, we can also see it has a classic structure 
of a cross-section of the cosmic egg. Symbolic earth, water, air, fire and then ether. There is a high embankment representing earth around the mound and a ditch that may once have contained water. Then one rises through the air to reach a level that may once have been lit by torches to represent fire. And finally, on the top, a double cone, the twin mother and father gods. And someone knew much more than they dare tell, because the local pub is called the Old Horns, or maybe it should be the Twin Horns. <laughs> <laughs>